What is going on, guys? This is the new thing that is about to drop down. We're about to get into intellectual property school. Now, this is going to be very different, very different than anything else I've ever done. So what's going to happen <clears throat> for the month of November? You can get in for a thousand bucks. You can get in for um, payments, payments of hundred bucks a month times 12. And this is going to be the curriculum. First of all, we're going to get into scripted days, mental discipline, the power of intellectual property, writing your first book for fun and profit, how to start a YouTube channel that sells products, which is very different than just starting a YouTube channel. You, there's certain things you got to do. How to make money with content, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit, and the YouTube ads course. So we're going to start with scripted days because, guys, you know what's going on. Everyone's trying to cancel me, but they can't cancel me. They can't. They can't do it. And you want to know why? You want to know why they can't cancel me? Because of this. And because of this. And because of this. And because of this. They can't cancel me because of intellectual property. They cannot cancel me. I want you to think about that. These folks are angry and leaving. They cannot cancel me because I have this. This is my secret power. Because I want to go to the management. I am the management. There's nothing these clowns can do. They cannot go tell on me. They can't get me fired. Because I. this is the power of intellectual property. You're seeing it. In living color, you're seeing the massive power. And I'm going to teach you all of my little tricks. And we're going to start with scripted days, middle discipline. There's probably going to be some other courses in here because you guys have got to get the foundational stuff. And then, you know, for some of you, like writing, writing my first book is what made me a millionaire. Because I got into it. So we're going to get into it. And there are probably going to be some more courses. But the link will be below if you want to get into the intellectual property school. How to make organic money. Or what I like to call pure internet money. And if you're in the corporate toolbox, you're going to get this. So you don't have to worry about signing up for it. You're going to get this. Now, if you're in the corporate papers, I will be sending out a discount link a little later. Because there, there's other than scripted days which I think everyone has. There's not a lot there. So give me a little time to get cooking. But I'm going to teach you how to create intellectual property that makes money. Right now, everyone's trying to cancel Glendon Cameron, but they can't because I have my own thing. I remember years and years ago, I was talking to um, Curtis Mayfield. He was a patient in the hospital. And he that just showed me the power. This man was paralyzed from the neck down. And because he had created intellectual property, he was able to support his family. That is crazy. That is crazy. So the links below and I will talk to you guys in the next in this video, because we're going to have a little fun in this video. What's going on, guys? It is the 4th of November. And the Castle Glendon Cameron project has gone off the rails. Now, I still have a few pesky assholes. Like, I saw I woke up to this comment. Bro, if we're ever in the same room, you ain't gonna leave out. You're not gonna leave out something about he was gonna physically put his hands on me. And I recently did a video on the Lost Kings about the absence of warriors. Everyone is big and bad and bold online. They want to just say all these disrespectful. And then someone put this comment because 
I personally think all the men who are making these videos about me are feminine as fuck. And also I think there's a key of jealousy because uh, someone put up a comment, man, it ain't about you getting young pussy. It's about you being successful. And I've always had haters, but this brought out a new brand of haters and it brought out a new level of awareness because I might make $400,000 this month which puts me ahead of the pace of 2020, which was my most successful year ever. So the cancel Glending Cameron project is pretty much ran off the rails. And I, I want to talk to you why. Now I've said this and a lot of people are like, oh, we're going to be here. We're going to be watching you. Okay. I, I do YouTube videos. Yeah. You, you're supposed to be watching me. Um, this lasted two weeks, right? Now, when I made that video, I was expecting this to go on for a year. And on the lead bitch show, he asked me what I would do to make the video more salacious. And since, you know, when I run experiments and stuff and like this experiment is still going on, it's still going on, but I wouldn't remake that video because See, here's the thing with YouTube. I knew I only had one shot to make that video. I knew at some point YouTube would remove it. So I cannot make videos like that because I make another video like that, I get what's called a community strike. And then I make another one, I'm gonna get a second community strike. And when you get that first community strike, you cannot upload the post content for a week. Second strike, you cannot upload the post content for two weeks. Third strike, your channel's gone. So you don't want to, because actually this channel almost disappeared. I got like two community strikes back to back, um, years and years ago. And I was like freaking out. So you don't want to start getting community strikes because you never know when that second or third one can pop up. So you always want to be in the position where you can get that first strike and it'll be a warning. That's how come the lost Kings wasn't impacted. I got that first strike. It was a warning bad boy. Don't do it again. So I cannot do that unless I wanted to start a brand new channel where I could do that. But let's talk about why the cancel Glenn Cameron program is going off the rails. Americans are lazy as hell. Y'all all up in the comments. Cause like, once again, uh, someone's like, you know, these people are just speaking out morally, right? No, they're not. No, they're not. They're feminine, jealous fucks. Morally? All right. How many of these people are actually active in their community? Helping the underprivileged, helping people who, how many of them? Zero. These folks on YouTube are opportunists and then there's a chance to make some YouTube money. And that's the beginning and end of it. Morally, a lot of these folks lie, steal and cheat, but they're not telling you what they do. Um, it's kind of funny, this whole cancel Glendon Cameron, and this should be a lesson to you guys. You cannot cancel someone who has his own platform. Now, when I say platform YouTube, I lease space here on YouTube. Well, YouTube actually pays me to make content. So that's my relationship with YouTube, but I have my own websites. I have my own email list. You cannot mess with that. And every, you know, I remember years and years ago, people was like, Hey, you know, you need to do a Facebook group. And I, like, I had a Facebook group that literally, literally disappeared. Then came back two years, like a ghost ship. It disappeared for two years. Then one day it was back. I was like, what's up with that? And ever since that happened, I've been very leery about building a platform on Facebook because I know I didn't do anything. Nothing happened. It just literally disappeared. So if I build a Facebook group of three, 400,000 people, then one day I wake up and it's gone. There ain't nothing I can do. So that's why I don't do those things. But the cancel blending Cameron, I've seen all kinds of stuff and, um, uh, I have a concealed carry permit, which expired. I need to get that renewed because I've been carrying my gun. And I'm going to say this gently because I'm not trying to start any raw, raw stuff, but you roll up on me and I tell you to get away from me and you keep pushing up. Now, 
to the credit, no one has rolled up on me. No one. Everyone, no one has rolled up. If anyone in this building knows about that controversy, they've not let me know it. They've not treated me any different. They've been kind and respectful and decent. So, but for the fool who rolls up on me, let me tell you how it's going to go down. I'm like, anyone that's like, I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. And I'm going to walk away. If they follow me, and I'm about to give you a lesson in the law, a lesson in the law. If they follow me and they keep pestering me, that opens the opportunity for me to blow their fucking head off because I said, don't mess with me. And I remove myself from the situation. And then they followed. That's assault. And when you assault me, you give me the right to protect myself, to defend myself. So for all you moist little bitches who want to get your hands on Glenn and Cameron, which I find to be laughable because most of you can't fight. Most of you didn't even grow up in an era where boys hit each other. We used to fight each other for fun. That's what we did when we were kids. A lot of you are little weak little bitches. Keyboard warriors. Man, if we're in the same room, I'm going to mess you up. And got a pickle as your avatar. Yeah. Yeah. But this thing, you know, like I said, lasted two weeks, almost three weeks. And it pretty much died down. Now, I do feel that there will be some people who will continue to try to whip it up because uh, as someone in the comments said, it ain't about young pussy, man. These motherfuckers are jealous of you. And with the YouTube removed my live stream about the guys who stole my car. I think they complained because I put their IDs up there because I woke up this morning and was gone. And, um, you know, it's kind of funny that everyone wants to get rah-rah, go for that rah-rah stuff. Because he, he, he was like, the car ain't nothing. I was like, if the car wasn't nothing, why did you deactivate the GPS kill switch to keep it? If the car wasn't nothing, why didn't you bring it back? See, very feminine man. Also, he's a convicted felon. And he got caught in my BMW with a gun, a convicted felon with a gun in the state of Georgia. That's a five year prison sentence. So he's going back to jail and he's talking all this rah rah stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, you got bigger problems, but you want to act all big and bad. Let's see how big and bad you act when you're in prison. You convict. And it, it, it's kind of funny because I feel, and you know, there's a lot of people who rent from me who know I do YouTube. And the vast majority of these people, they rent the cars, they pay, they're getting the service, they're fine. But there's a few people who's like, oh, we, like, this is what I think um, this dude thought. Because I'm rich, that I should subsidize his lifestyle, that I should allow him use of a $20,000 car, expect no remuneration, Cause he was like shocked that I called the police. He was like, ain't no need to call the police. And he got arrested. I got the police report. He got arrested and he was with another chick. He wasn't with his wife. So more than likely he's cheating on his wife. So this is just a deplorable character. But guys, the uh, cancel Glendon Cameron and the road wearing bitch who really lit the match to this uh, I got some plans for him. I'm not going to state publicly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it and let the chips fall where they may fall. Because I have a feeling that all is not well over there. I just have a feeling, just a strong, strong suspicion. Because, guys, this is one of the reasons that I don't affiliate and align myself with a lot of people. Because I, I like being standing apart. I don't have all of these developments and networks and stuff and all of these um, associations. So I can say and do what I want and I don't have to worry about that because I've been talking about that stuff ever since I've been on YouTube. And then we got a sexually repressed and emotional little bitch who, cause here's the thing, I keep hearing this moral outrage, right? How many of these people are actually helping someone that's in need? 
actually helping someone. I don't think none of them are helping them. I don't think, you know, when I used to volunteer, and I don't have the time to volunteer right now, but I used to volunteer at the Atlanta Tool Bank, uh, the Community Way, I met some remarkable and amazing people. And none of these people are remarkable. None of them are amazing. And I'm gonna continue to say that to insult someone who's done nothing to you is a sign of a low class, low intellect, buster bitch. Because all these folks are hurling all these insults and I'm just sitting there like, really? That's all you got? That's all you got? You got a mean comment. You can't get at my business. I know that frustrates you. I want to speak to the manager. I am the manager. Fuck you. I can say that every day and there ain't nothing you can do because what's happening, and I'm starting to see this, there's a lot of people who were caught up in the rah-rah. They were like, yeah, we need to cancel this Glendon Cameron and Right now, I have a bunch of low impulse. I'm gonna talk about low impulse folks coming. And a lot of people like, and one person is like, you know, I came here because I heard the controversy, but I've been consuming your content and I like it. So this is part of the experiment because like it's a six month experiment. We've got like five more months to go. So we will see what happens in six months. But I'm starting to convert some people. And as much as the distractors, and let's talk about low impulse control. Low impulse control people do things based upon feeling. I'm gonna go to Glendon Cameron's channels and I'm gonna come in and leave something disparaging. That's low impulse control because I'm like, okay, once again, if you insult someone who's done nothing to you, you're an asshole, you're a bitch, you're fucking stupid, you're part of that socially economic underclass because once again the guy who stole my car who's going to jail he is a prime representative of that social economic class that's going to be reset living in a hotel renting a car but for some reason he feels morally superior where he can do name calling when his ass is going to jail and also his wife's going to jail. If I got anything to do with it, she's going to jail because even though he got called in the car, I could still file a warrant for her arrest because she rented their car. And I'm gonna do that just to show these fools what real power is. Not this keyboard stuff, not sending nasty texts, but actually having impact on someone's life. And I'm gonna talk to the DA because see, I'm gonna put on a tie and a shirt and go talk to the DA. And it's like, you know, they disabled the kill switch. They were intentionally stealing. This isn't like, they didn't get a little bit behind. They got like 23 days behind. I was looking for my car, they refused to bring it back. They were intentionally killing, stealing. And because he is a low intellect individual, he's just stupid, he was actually surprised when the cops pulled him over. He was surprised. See, this is that hood thing. I can do all this stuff to you, but how dare you do something to me? That's like snitching, man. You, you ain't supposed to snitch, even though I'm costing you money, even though I'm doing all this stuff that I shouldn't be doing to you, you're not supposed to snitch. That's hood rules, man. You're breaking hood rules, right? So one of the things that we're getting ready to do as you saw in the beginning, I wanna show you guys, cause this, like, once again, all these folks have been looking in my background, they ain't find nothing. The road-wearing road bitch seems to have a lot of information about having bad credit. I think it's kind of interesting that you are a millionaire, but you got bad credit. That, that, and that makes me think that the cars are not in his name. Just makes me think that. So, guys, You've seen what the internet has thrown at me. And the internet is supposed to be undefeated. The internet is an angry mob of uneducated, low intellect people. The majority of the internet. Because society, society, like my building, I can drive up in here, get out the garage, 
get on the elevator and come up to my place. And I, 90% of the time, I rarely run into anyone. You know why these folks are busy? But the low intellect, the low food, the low information diet people, they got plenty of time because they're not building anything. They're not working on anything. They're not doing anything. They're just out here living. They're just out here living. They're just doing their thing, right? And um, this, you know, people were trying to cancel me, y'all. And it didn't work. They failed spectacularly. All of these dumbass male YouTubers making all this content, what they did is they pushed a lot of traffic to my channels. And you know what happened to Fresh and Fit? There was a little dip. And I didn't, lo I didn't, get, I didn't lose as many people as Fresh and Fit did. I lost 600 people on this channel, 400 on the other one, and the Lost Kings gained like 1,000 subscribers. So I had a net loss of 200 subscribers across the YouTube business. And I have a feeling I'm gonna have a very nice rebound. And you know, there will be these pesky little ads. Let me tell you why. Because I'm rich and they can't stand that. I, I'm, I'm gonna agree with the comment. It's like, it ain't nothing to do with you, you young pussy. The fact is that you are a black man that is capable of speaking your mind and still getting paid. They cannot deal with that. He said they cannot deal with that. They're, they're like, because see, most of these low intellect, uneducated people who are hiding under the mask of morality, their lives suck. Their lives suck. I saw one fat fuck make a video about me. This motherfucker ain't had pussy since pussy had him. And I'm just sitting there like, really? He just did it because he's a YouTuber and this was the way to get some YouTube money. That's the only reason he did it. I don't even know if he even really, because honestly, this is one of the reasons that I've been talking about this stuff for years. My supporters, the people who rock with me, y'all know how I am because I haven't hit it. And then with the road wearing bitch, he got on it and I think he's jealous. Honestly, I think he's jealous because I've been able to do things that he has not been able to do. And for the record, if anyone knows what, he, what his businesses are, please put it in the comments. I have no clue. He has too much free time to be on YouTube to be a productive millionaire in my opinion. In my opinion, I don't know. But once again, we will see in the future. But guys, the cancel Glendon Cameron project, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. My bank account is getting fatter. It's getting fatter. So a lot of people are like, you know, and um, one person who was like, you don't have to do that. You could just run ads. Let me just say this. No one tells me how to run my business. I don't have a, especially with YouTube, there's really, uh, my YouTube mastermind, which I'm no longer a part of, I used to talk to those guys because they're YouTubers. But outside of that network, I don't run my business decisions about a committee. There's no committee. This is a dictatorship. I do what I want. I don't have no committee. I don't have to ask someone's, hey guys, do you feel that this is a good video for me to put up? I've been making YouTube videos for 13 years and I've never run my ideals about in, what I was gonna put up across anyone. Now, this was funny. This is chick who I used to date. She hated the disruptive male. She hated, actually two of them hated it. And um, both of them, I got through the Craigslist protocols. And I remember one night we're in bed and she's like, I just hate that. And I was like, why do you hate me talking about the things that I did that got me you? And she got real quiet. I'm like, that's how I met you. You answered an ad, you came to my place, I choked you and I fucked you. And you've been in my life for eight years. That's how I got you. Why are you mad about me talking about the things that were successful in terms of me getting you? When I met her, I, never, I didn't take her out. We did not have drinks. She came straight over to my place and I hit it. I hit it. And then the other one 
once again, Craigslist protocols. It's kind of funny how people start to change and to get away from the reality of the things that they really did. Because uh, I'm like, you know, and then the one that wants to come back, who wants to form an instant relationship, like I said, um, I'm gonna have to be deeply, deeply, deeply in love before a chick move up in here. Before some chick moves up in here, because uh, it could happen in the future. But ideally, if I ever live with another woman, we will be married. That's the game plan. Because uh, I'll date, and uh, last night I was met someone new. And it was a good night. It was a very good night. It was a, it was a great night. It was a great morning. And, you know, it's funny because I posted, you know, pictures and stuff. She is not the baddest chick, right? But she's the chick that feels the best. I don't know if I can explain that. The other chicks are hot, nice bodies and stuff. And we, we went on dates and we had fun. But this chick is very different in terms of the way that she feels, in terms of the way that she gets down, her personality, she's very, very different. And that's one of the things I'll talk about on The Lost Kings. Uh, because normally, I would wake up in the morning and text my rotation, like, good morning, you know, little, I didn't do that this morning. <laughs> I, I was like, looks like the rotation has been replaced by one woman. That's, looks, that's pretty much, because uh, either she's gonna be over here tonight, I'm gonna be at her place. I already know this and we didn't even talk about it. So one of the things that you guys and like, we'll be talking about that on the Lost Kings. If you want to have a girlfriend, if you want to have a rotation, if you want to get married, we'll be talking about that. Cause like I said, it's all about you being happy. And like I said, like, I mean, it felt good. It felt really, really good. So, and I don't think that she's going to have a problem with the Lost Kings and my content. I don't think she's gonna have a problem with it at all. And that's another reason. And this girl is, you know, some game. She is super neat. I went to her place last night. It was spotless, spotless, great sign. So she has a, she has a beautiful place, maintains herself, lives alone, has no pets, has no children. I'm like, because one of these chicks I've met, I found out later that she has two kids. And I was like, ooh. That was like, ah. <laughs> I was like, ah. Because, you know, yeah, you can be a single mother and you can be a good girlfriend. But typically, I found out that that's just typically a pain in the ass for me, for me. So um, this chick, probably going to be rocking with her. And one of the things... Uh, let me, I, I even mentioned this on the Lost Kings. There are you out there with your six packs, your 12 inch dicks, and you cannot get a chick. I am 55 and chubby, and I can get chicks all day long. All day long, and y'all can't get them. You wanna know why? You don't like women. Y'all in this manosphere, echo spear, this chamber where you actually hate women. You hate women, and it comes out when you try to get with them. It's like, this guy hates women. I can feel it. I can tell. So, hey guys, the Cancel Glendon Cameron program is not in effect anymore. Well, actually, it never, it never took hold. My money has not been impacted at all. I'm making more money. And many people are like, money and everything. You know who say that? Broke bitches who trying to make themselves feel better about being broke. Money is just as important as oxygen in today's world. And if you don't believe that, you're a damn fool. You lying to yourself. So, yeah, the, the cancel Glendon Cameron project. Yeah. You want to know why it didn't work? First of all, you had this whole collective of low intellect. That's really key. No money, no agenda, no plan. First of all, they just attacked my channels, left all kind of comments, which 
actually was kind of easy to defeat because all I did was just block them and delete their comments. And oh man, they hate it when I delete their comments. You wanna know why they hate it when I delete their comments? That's all they have is a comment. They don't have no money, they don't have a life, they don't have nothing. So you had this massive low intellect, low under ed, no education, no education because they're using the term pedophile incorrectly. They're using the term, which is started by the little robe wearing bitch who I, I have a feeling that something's really interesting is gonna happen to him in the very near future. Just, just the thought that hit me. But you got all these folks who are uneducated using terms and stuff and they're like, I don't think it's because I got some young pussy. I'm, I'm gonna agree with that comment. It's because I'm successful, I'm black and I get to do what the fuck I wanna do. That's the issue. That is the issue. I get to do what I want to do. And I can rub my balls all over the internet and ain't nothing gonna happen to me. You're being investigated by the FBI. Really? Who told you that? Because the FBI did not tell you that. The FBI doesn't comment on their investigation. So you don't know. You're just making shit up. And you know, once again, one man, just me, against all of these other fools and clowns, and guess who won? Me. I, because like I said, what they would have, this is what they should have did if they were smart, but they're not smart. They should have launched, they should have went out and hired a hacker and it hit my websites. But wait a minute, they broke. They don't have no money. That's what they should have did if they were going to try to impact my money. And that would have worked briefly because hackers, then I would have just reached out to my team, got my website back up. But see, once again, these folks are, they're unintelligent. This is one of the reasons that they're poor. Um, Jordan Peterson, 30% of the population is functionally dumb. 30%. And this is the population who's coming, leaving all this stuff on my YouTube channels. And you know, moral outrage, right? You're getting fucked by the government. You're getting fucked by the banking system and you're not morally outraged by that. But a guy comes on the internet and he fucked a young girl. You, oh, oh we gotta get him. We gotta get him. So stuff that directly impacts your dumb asses you are, you're not morally outraged, but nothing, but something that has absolutely nothing to do with your dumb ass, you're morally outraged. Really? This is why I say these folks are stupid. I was having a conversation with a financial guy and I said that most people are financially stupid. He was saying, oh, I wouldn't say they're stupid. I would say that they're ignorant. And I was like, same thing. He said, yeah, same thing. So a lot of people are ignorant. A lot of people bask in their ignorance and you know, there was another person who keeps pushing this false agenda that, you know, for marriage charts that there's only been a three year difference. My grandmother, Maddie Cameron, married my grandfather, Sumner Cameron. My grandfather had to be like 20 years older than my grandmother. It was common. It was common. And people act like, and I saw someone that like, yeah, he's like 15 to 20. I'm like, okay, now the ages keep Alaska because there, there's a lot of sexually repressed people. There's a lot of scared people. There's a lot of people who've never done shit in their lives. And they're out here commenting based upon their limited perspective. Because as I get into, because right now with the Lost Kings, I'm moving forward with manhood training and stuff. And I'm gonna get into the freaky deaky stuff on my platform, because I can't do it on YouTube. Like I said, YouTube removed the video where I put their names and driver's license. And I think that's what either he complained. I think he complained because he's a, he's a nasty little bitch in text. But when I put up a video explaining, because I'm going to put up another video and I'm going to do it a certain way where I can still get my point across and we'll see if that gets removed. Cause, uh, it, it, it was like very interesting, but, um, he's a convicted felon. 
I'm gonna do this video very differently, very differently to get my point across. But guys, if this isn't proof positive of the power of building your own shit, if I was on Facebook, like my Instagram account, uh, Savage Finance Instagram, that got impacted. But I wasn't making any money from my Instagram account. So other than losing 25,000 followers, it's not a big loss. And I got another Instagram account that uh, I'm building up slowly, I'm adding content to it that they don't even know about. And you know, once again, I'm pretty much gonna stick with YouTube because YouTube is the source of the majority of my money. Like 95% of my money is directed from YouTube. So I'm gonna keep on with that. But guys, if this isn't proof positive why you should build your own thing and control your own thing, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. The road wearing bitch thought he could take me down. Ha! Bitch. He thought he could take me down. The lead bitch thought he could take me down. They thought all these folks thought they could take me out. And I'm still here rubbing my balls all over the internet. These clowns thought they could take me down because they have just an opinion. But their opinions don't matter in my ecosystem because I own and control my ecosystem. And I'm converting more and more people every day. I feel, this, this is kind of what I'm feeling, I'm getting the vibe that six months from now, I think this channel is going to explode. That's what I think is going to happen. This channel is going to explode. Uh, I got some tactics, some things I'm getting ready to do. And, you know, like they're building this building like right here. And I watch them. And that's what I did. I built a building. It took me some time to build it. And that's why they couldn't tear it apart. They can't leave comments on my internet property. They cannot leave. They can't do it. And all these folks who... Like, what cracks me up these folks who come in the comments, it's like, hey, this guy is, did this. Like, who are you telling on? You, I posted it. Who are you telling on? Just to feel like they have a little power, like they actually did something when they've done nothing. So guys, if this isn't proof positive to all the things I've been teaching about building your own platform, building your own business, because now I have uh, online business and I have an offline business and you know uh, last month if it wasn't for these these three yard birds it would have been 25,000 I did 21,500 would have did 25 if it wasn't for these yard birds because typically what I find is people will keep my better cars and they don't want to bring them back even though he said it was an old car and all this other stuff, he, he disconnected the GPS kill switch because he didn't want to turn it in. But he, 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 he's, like a, he's like a scorned woman. You're just like a scorned woman, right? You know, when you were fucking her and you were giving her the dick, she was losing her mind. Now you broke up. Your dick's small and you can't fuck. That's how he acted. Acted like a little bitch. Because... This is one of the things with the low intellect people who have low impulse control. They just do stuff and hope that it works out on the back end. Like when they had the car, they were paying on it and then their money got funny. And this is what I think has happened. Um, they got the car, they got used to the car and they didn't want to give it back. And when I rented the car to them, I was in the Porsche. So they were like, because th this is one of the things that many of the low intellect, low under uneducated, not even undereducated, uneducated people think that someone's going to come and save them or someone should do something to help them out versus building themselves up uh, by themselves. And one of the things, guys, that if this hasn't shown you the power of building your own shit. I don't think anything else to it. The lead attorney, the lead bitch thought he could take me out. The road wearing bitch thought he could take me out. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. I'm making more money than I ever made before. 
these fools thought they and they're and they're hiding behind morals because the lead attorney how what is his real name what is his real name and i don't know what's up with the internet thing where a lot of people don't want to give up their real name um i, I don't get it i just don't get it it's like you got someone you're following and you don't even know their real name and they will not tell you for me personally i would never give this person money if i didn't know their real name if they were dancing around that but guys if this doesn't illustrate if this doesn't show you the power of having your own shit nothing else will nothing else will like i got folks who are coming after me and they're like we're gonna cancel i saw hashtag cancel blending cameron and these weak, mentally impotent people actually feel that they can do something to me because they have social outrage. Arr. Really? I live in the real world. And let me tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna make more products, I'm gonna make more money, and I'm gonna get richer. That's what's happening to this cancel Glendon Cameron project. Which is never really got started, never doing any traction. They ain't really doing anything. They really ain't really doing anything. Right now, as I said earlier, some of these people are being converted. They were a rah, 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 cancel Glendon Cameron. And they're coming in and they're consuming the content. And it's like, this dude ain't that bad. And also, I'm standing up in the face saying, you can't cancel me. You can't. You can't cancel me. And, you know, the first time this happened was with the resale community. And this Sunday, we're going to get into some resale training. So if you want to be part of Hustlers University, jump, up, jump on that. And well, another thing I'm doing, everyone that signs up for the one and done of Hustlers University, you will get the masculine frame and you will get disruptive male. How I did that? Plugging my own intellectual property, doing what I need to do to protect myself, you know? So guys, this is a prime example of why you need to build something. You need to have something that outside forces cannot infiltrate. And this is why it's dangerous building a business on Facebook or Instagram. And to some degree, YouTube. Once again, YouTube gives you a lot of latitude. A lot of latitude. Like, I'm trying to figure out what did I do in that video that got taken down. I think he complained. And it's funny, he's all rah rah on the phone, but when I put up a video exposing him and his wife as common car thieves, he, he, he got upset. He got upset. I, I feel that they actually, I think they took it down, but I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do it in a very classic style, so. I'm gonna get my point across, I'm gonna get my point across. But guys, if this doesn't prove to you the power of the training that I've been putting out for the last 12 years, nothing else will do it. I literally have the internet mad at me. Who knows, 100, two, three, 400,000, maybe a million, million people who want my head on a stick and they can't do shit to me. Nothing, nothing. The money I made this month is enough for me to live on next year. The complete year. The money I made this month and the day's only the fourth. <laughs> Here, this place cost me $1,000 a month more than my mortgage. But once again, it's a tax write-off. So I ain't worried. But go ahead. We got a training this Sunday, resale training Sunday. And I'm gonna start digging into the masculine frame. I'm gonna start, you know, doing a lot of other stuff and digging into intellectual property school. Let's talk about that. Intellectual property school. That's I remember when I sold my first book. It was the best feeling ever. I made sixty-two thousand dollars my first year, and that was the best money ever because it came from me. It was organic. 
and I was the factory. And then next year I made 92,000. I was like, yeah, that's good. Then the third year I made 1.5 million. That was the game changer. Um, that was the game changer. And guys, you want to get into the intellectual property school because I'm going to teach you some stuff that you don't know. So that link's below and that's going to open up next week. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. And to all my haters, hey, I'm still here. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. You weak, impotent little men. You have no power. You have no agency. There ain't shit you can do to me. Nothing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it.